also around this time, uh, Jake, I'm sure I'm not even going to preface any of these anymore. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to ask if you know. I know that you know. Around this time, and a few of the different territories, Rocky was also winning the Brass Knuckle Championships. So, like, Florida and Texas. And at the time, that was kind of a hardcore championship, I do believe, from the research that I found. And uh, that was a place where you were allowed to hit with closed fists. And I believe the first one he won was from Killer Carl Clock. And I believe the first Killer one... Killer Carl Cox. Ki- Killer Carl Cox. And I mm-hmm. believe that was the in the Florida Territory. And there is a clip of this on YouTube. And it is a... Like, looking at this clip, it is a precursor of the style of wrestling that's to come. Because a lot of the wrestling of the 70s and, like, the early part of the 80s is slow and, like... Uh, not very brawl like, and mm-hmm. this is like the bringing in the style of like Bruiser Brody, ass kicking, yes. like very similar, like it's like fast. brawling, yeah, yeah. And it, it, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of things going on. Where a lot of the other matches, it's it's seen as wrestling, like mm-hmm. as if you were having an actual amateur wrestling competition with hip tosses and suplexes and and holds and grappling maneuvers. Where brass knuckles was just balls out non-stop action cloud of dust hit each other with everything you possibly can full-on action and it, it just you mesh that together with everything and and obviously that brass knuckle style is kind of just done everywhere especially like when the road warriors came around like they were <laughs> they were they were 19,000 time over brass knuckles champion like <laughs> as someone that like kind of has a hard time watching some older wrestling just because the style's so slow it's fantastic to see that because it's definitely a precursor to like to the over the top quick style that we have today it's like you can tell that it was one of the one of the seeds that went on to become like ECW and like just some of the stuff with like Japan influence and all that it's just fantastic to watch so highly recommend people checking out some of those brass knuckle clips there aren't a lot to find but definitely if you can comb through something maybe you can beg Jake to go through his fucking humongous back catalog of wrestling i'm sure you have some full matches don't you yeah yeah but i will still a lot of that comes from memphis too mm-hmm. you know a lot of that comes from memphis a lot of that comes from texas you know the merging of just like action and you know, brawling and every like a lot of that hardcore style came from memphis and texas and those things becoming popular and popularized throughout the country as guys travel the territories and this thing this american art form morphs into what pro wrestling is same way that stand-up comedy toured the country and guys started to evolve and become something more and something different like pro wrestling comedy very much two very american art forms that and jazz and it evolves over time the styles are created and this art form evolves through bouncing around the country and artists interacting with each other (laughs) 